What's up? My name is Mr. Chipman, and I teach AP Biology. It'd be weird if I was doing these questions if I didn't teach this class. Here we are, 2025 free response questions. We just took the exam, or you guys did. I did. took the exam a few days ago. I took some time to answer the question this afternoon while my students were doing other things. I was just excited. I was like a kid at Christmas. You know, I just get excited about doing this sort of thing. And here we are, question three, talking about buffalo grass. Buffalo grass. Who heard of buffalo grass before today? I had not, but here we are, talking about buffalo grass. Question number three. This is a short question. This one should have took you ten minutes. Probably did. It's not too bad. Let's look at it. I feel like we had a question, seriously, no doubt, just like this last year, but it was some other sort of thing, right? It was some other sort of, like, grass. But anyway, here we are. Buffalo grass, an invasive species in the southwestern desert ecosystems, is threatening the saguro cactus, a keystone species in the ecosystems. Buffalo grass is drought tolerant, can survive wildfires. However, the dry buffalo grass acts as fuel for wildfires, causing fires to be more severe. Older saguro cacti can survive wildfires. However, many of the young cacti cannot. Scientists conduct an experiment to determine whether they could control the abundance of buffalo grass population. Scientists identified several native grass species that, when grown with buffalo grass, might reduce the abundance of buffalo grass. They grew buffalo grass. <laughs> that word, I'm sorry. They grew buffalo grass in the presence of several uh, different native grass species in the greenhouses and either non-drought watered every three days or drought watered every nine days conditions. After 12 weeks, they measured the height and dry weight of the buffalo grass in each treatment group. Describe the effect of removing a keystone species from an ecosystem. Keystone species, by definition, is a species that sort of anchors the whole ecosystem, right? And so if you took the keystone species out, it would cause the ecosystem to collapse. Done. Identify the control group that they should have included. Love these. Love these, right? So as you're reading through this, you know, you may have thought, you may have been like this little twinge, but if there wasn't, go back through it and, like, find that twinge that says this is not real science, right? They need something to compare. They need, so they're growing buffalo grass with native species. What should they also do? Grow it without, right? Measure so that they can see a difference. That's my control group. State the null hypothesis of the experiment in which the buffalo grass is grown in the presence of native grass species. So in order to know the null, we have to know the original hypothesis, right, uh, to determine whether they can control the abundance of buff buffalo grass population. Um, the scientists identified several species that, when grown, might reduce the abundance of buffalo, gra buffalo grass. So what is the null? that when uh, grown with native species, there was no reduction in abundance of buffalo, buffalo grass. That is my null hypothesis, moving on to part D. Scientists have found that the population rates of native grasses are much slower than the population rate of buffalo grass during following a wildfire. Scientists claim that wildfires will therefore increase the abundance of buffalo grass plants in the ecosystem, based on the information justify the claim. Um, yeah, makes sense, right? Uh, buffalo grass are a species that have been adapted to fire. And so fire is a part of their uh, sort of makeup, right? And so because they are adapted to fire, um, living in a zone that has lots of fire is going to increase their fitness, whereas species that aren't as adapted to fire, it's going to decrease their fitness. Question three was not bad. We love these unit eight questions. Um, they're not, not too bad, not too bad at all, especially if you had time to go through unit eight. It will make it much, much easier. We're going to move on to question number four.